Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnson Sakwa, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this amazing and wonderful morning. What a privilege to find this time to share the Word of God with us. I want to pray and then we'll listen to the voice of the Father. Father, we thank you this morning. We acknowledge you for who you are. We thank you for the grace that is available. Thank you, Father, for the love and the care that you have, my Father, directed towards us. This morning, as we receive your word, we are praying for your presence. We are praying for revelation. We are praying for your anointing to be upon us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to give you glory honor, adoration, power, and authority in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor, praise, adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover this time, Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Have your way. Be with us, Lord. Emancipate our minds, O God, and help our hearts to be receptive to your voice in the name of Jesus. I give you praise and glory in Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. What a privilege this Sunday morning to speak and share the word of God to us. I have a subject this morning which I've titled Find Peace, Find Peace. Now a lot of things will happen to our lives, some good, some bad, some are schemes to destroy us, some uh strategies to make sure we don't succeed. Uh some happen uh some people do things without, you know, carefully putting a thought to it. They do it without thinking about the impact or the outcomes. The people who are reckless in their conversation, reckless in their actions, the people who don't even know what the words have they have spoken have affected like affected lives of people. They don't understand what is the significance of certain words being spoken in the lives of people they do not understand. But this morning, I want to speak to your heart, and I pray that this word finds a place in your heart to find peace. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter number 12 and verse number 18, Romans chapter number 12 and verse number 18, if it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. The Bible envisions a situation where there will be people who will not be at peace with you no matter what you do. But you must ensure that as much as possible and it depends with you that you live peaceably with all men. When there's got to do with other people who have deliberately, to, to, they have deliberately refused to bring peace amongst you, then you can let it pass because then it is not with you. But you as a child of God, you as a believer, you must endeavor to find peace with all men as much as it depends on you. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want therefore to bring to your attention and your call that no matter what would happen in your life, it is your responsibility, it is your duty, as long as it depends on you to live peaceably with all men. You have no shortcut on this. You cannot assume it. You have to try. You have to ensure that no blame is put on you. But I'm saying the Bible envisions the situation where there are people who will be reluctant or deliberately refuse to have peace with you. So long as it depends with them, you have done your part. Let me read another uh, verse, Hebrews chapter number 12 and verse number 14. Hebrews chapter number 12 and verse number 14. The Bible says, Pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. Pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. So another word is brought into it, holiness, but the word peace then comes in first. So it is a combination of these attributes being a person who loves peace or pursues peace and a person who is holy. Now these particular attributes in a believer are the ones that can open a door for you to see the Lord. Now seeing the Lord could be in the present or could be in the future. You want to see God in your life today, 
You want to see God come into your situation today. You want to see God come into your situation in your family today. You've got to pursue peace and live in holiness. Praise the Lord. And so I am saying find peace. The subject I have for us this morning is find peace. Find peace in your life. Find peace with people. Find peace with yourself. Find peace. Find peace. Brother, sister, find peace. There are people who have done terrible things in their lives. They have never forgiven themselves. There are people who have done things in their lives. They have never forgiven themselves. I want to tell you this morning in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that you've got to find peace in your life. You've got to forgive yourself. You've got to ask God to give you grace to find peace in yourself. Because without peace, you cannot please God. Without pursuing peace with yourself and with people and holiness, you cannot see the Lord. It is your duty. The Bible tells us to him that knoweth to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. So you must know that as much as it depends on you, you must peaceably live with peace with all men in the name of Jesus Christ. So my message to us this Sunday morning is find peace. Find peace. Find peace. Some other place I've preached on this platform and I've said, find a big heart. Have a big heart. Have a big heart to forgive. Have a big heart to be more wiser. Have a, you know, a big heart to forgive. Have a big heart. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, find peace. Pursue peace and holiness so you can see God. Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you this morning. We want to thank you, Father, for who you are. We give you glory, adoration, power, and authority in the name of Jesus. We therefore glorify your name. We bless you and we thank you this particular time because indeed you've been an awesome God in our lives. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Be magnified, be honored, and be lifted for the glory and honor of your name. I thank you this morning, and I bless you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. What a wonderful Sunday. This has been your host, Pastor Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May the good Lord bless you, the good Lord be with you, the good Lord cause you to find peace that you can be blessed. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning by the grace of God. Amen and amen.